Hello my beautiful, amazing people, badass Dark Zone agent Uncle Butcher in the building with new broken setup. I have to give you a heads up guys, Bulwark right now is pretty much unkillable. You can receive shit ton of incoming damage from two Changas, from grenades, from snipers, from elites, non-elites, yatta yatta yatta, and you will still not go down. The Armor Reaper and the Armor Regen shield health is kind of ridiculous. You have like 17 million shield HP. On top of that, a ridiculous DPS. I am missing on purpose. <laughs> uh, that's what she said. Oh, goddamn. But nevertheless, I will show you two ways how to use Bulwark efficiently and for face tanking. Bulwark has never been better, I think, and if you will use Forge name and holster, god damn the shield health, you could possibly even use um, Deflector shield as your DPS source, but I will test it later on, right now I am on Bulwark meta, but before we continue, quick one of the sponsors, Leaving.net, if you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items or maybe new items from last update, like mosquito pistol for example then hit these guys up they are best in the business they have worked they have been working for many many years and uh, with my promo code everybody deep you will receive 15 percent discount on absolutely all services so it's pretty goddamn good uh, deal and if you have any questions don't hesitate drop your comment down below in comment section or contact the operator but now let's move back to this bulwark setup and with this new update uh, I think the my main priority will be couple of builds first of all bulwark because I want to test out how face tank works and it's absolutely amazing second set of which I want to test out is Hunter's Fury gear set which received nerf in terms of health on kill attribute I will pair up is with new gear set which can give us 60% health uh, so we can mitigate that uh, loss I will test that build out and clutch because in this update we can reach like 1.56 million health and I just want to see how perfect clutch works now in PvP and PV with that ridiculous amount of health in this one we are using technician specialization why because we will receive extra skill damage or skill repair it depends on your preference but of course we need skill repair and we will get linked laser point attachment which we will use on our king breaker named assault rifle and artificial hive this hive will heal our shield on the fly although my reaper power is not that strong only 20% you can boost that power with mods I'm using protection from elite mods I have almost 40% um, protection from elites but you could gain like 60% uh, reaper power with perfect 20% mods and just look at the shenanigans none and that's non elite enemy guys I'm healing myself, they even can't get my shield to half health. It's ridiculous, man. Non-elite, with all that uh, protection from elite, prote elite enemies has no chance whatsoever. Only downpuff for this build is that maybe DPS output is not that high, you will take uh, more time to kill enemies, but for sure you will complete any stronghold. So two ways how to use this build. One is with Bulwark Shield and Liberty Pistol. Liberty Pistol will give you tons of DPS and with full stacks you can make headshot and boom you will fully repair your shield. Second option to play with normal shield and use uh, Scorpio Shotgun. Scorpio Shotgun will apply debuffs it will boost your DPS output as well, really good option. If you will use Scorpio shotgun, then use in your pistol slot D50, one of the hardest hitting pistols. If you're gonna use Liberty exotic pistol, then in your shotgun slot, use the lefty, name it shotgun with perfect sledgehammer talent. As your assault rifle choice, I would recommend you to use Kingbreaker with perfect flatland. It's still one of the best assault rifles in the game. Yes, you could use maybe shield splinter or 
uh, FAMAS, Carbine 7, all those assault rifles are good, but with perfect flatline talent and link laser pot attachment, this combination is still one of the best in the games. And again, you are receiving DPS output from all the sources here, and you still are healing like crazy. Yeah, man. I don't know how this build will perform in PvP, I haven't tested it yet, most likely it will not be that great, but who knows, but still, in PV, this could be the best face tank build right now, if you will use the Bulwark chest piece and Bulwark backpack. Uh, Bulwark chest piece will give us better armor regen and uh, Bulwark backpack will give us um, armor regen in uh, 5 second window, not in 10 second window. So, in the, And by shortening this uh, time spam, uh, we are receiving again more healing and that's the reason why our health is so rapidly going up it's like boom held back boom held back like in chunks like big big barbecue chicken chunks man our shield has 16 plus a million health and that's insane and you could boost that health even more really 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 strong shield it's uh, pretty much unkillable. Bulwark gear trail by itself will give us total armor. That's the reason why we have 2 million armor, armor again, and shield health. And I'm using Forge, name it Holster, to gain even more shield health. And in all uh, attribute options, I'm rolling armor regen to be basically unkillable. Even if my shield will go down, if somebody will rush me from the backside, I could quickly gain my armor and health back. And I mean, artificial hive can heal you on the fly. It can sit on your backpack and you don't have to waste it. Pretty much unkillable build. Welcome guys to insanity!